And both presidential candidates are out in full force now, less than a week away from their first debate. And this morning, Vice President Kamala Harris is trying to gain some ground on the economy. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump is touting new momentum among certain voters. This morning, Vice President Harris heads to Swing State, New Hampshire, set to unveil a new economic plan, hoping to boost her standing among voters and the issue. She's focusing on small businesses, proposing a tenfold expansion of tax deductions for startup expenses from $5,000 to $50,000, and cutting some red tape, eliminating certain licenses and tax filing requirements to make it easier to start a business. And unlike Donald Trump, I will always put the middle class and working class families first. Always. I come from the middle class. I know what I'm talking about. The latest polls show Harris narrowly leading Donald Trump in most battleground states. But this morning, the former president's campaign out with a new memo touting his momentum, saying compared to 2020 exit polls, President Trump is outperforming with blacks, Hispanics and even younger voters. Their high stakes presidential debate now less than a week away. Trump reviewing policy with advisors, including former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, who once challenged Harris herself on stage. In a podcast interview, Trump sounding confidence while adding a rare acknowledgement that he lost the last election. I've done well with debates. I mean, I became president. Then the second time I got millions more votes than I got the first time. And I got millions of more votes than that and uh, lost by a whisker. Harris has done at least two mock debates. On debate prep, we're told Harris is focused on holding Trump accountable and getting under his skin while maintaining a calm demeanor. This as the former president is slated to join a Fox News town hall in Pennsylvania tonight.